Hey YouTube, it's uh, Wednesday the 22nd of August and these are my latest gaming pickups. I've uh, been back to Game World and I've got a couple of uh, original Xbox games. First one's 13 uh, XIII and this is by Ubisoft and Dargord. Um, it's rated 94% in Games Master magazine. Age rated 12 plus and that was just 199 I think I had this on the GameCube before, um, I've not got it on the Xbox so uh, I thought I'd go and uh, give it a shot on the Xbox. Uh, so one player game, or you can system link it 1 to 8. Next we've got Urban Chaos, uh, this was rated 8.6 out of 10 uh, in the official Xbox magazine. And that's age rated 18. I've got this on the PlayStation 2, so the PlayStation 2 copy will be up for swaps soon. As I do like to get my games on the Xbox, I prefer them on the Xbox than the PS2. Uh, this is one player game and it's system link 2 to 8. Next we've got Final Fantasy 13 as well. Uh, XIII, and that's by Square Enix, that was $7.99. And that's a one player game, and it's got friends and achievements online. Last Xbox game, it's uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, and that was $5.99. That's uh, age rated 18, and this is by Team Ninja and Xbox Magazine. Um, quote it as heart stopping action. And this is a one player game with uh, content download and leaderboards online. This is by uh, Tecmo. Next is a PC game. Um, I've played the trial version of this um, for 30 minutes on my on live micro console and really really enjoyed it. Um, but it was about £15 to download it on there. But luckily enough, I just uh, happened to be browsing the PC games in Game World today and came across this one. So I look forward to getting a PC eventually to play this on. Um, I don't know if it'll play on a laptop. It's not awfully powerful so but I'll give it a go and see how it goes and this is the original uncut version with the bonus material it's got an autograph developer postcard and soundtrack CD inside which I'll show you in a minute it's age rated 15 and it's got over, over 8 hours of single player first person puzzle action adventure it's got um, innovative physics based gameplay, 8 huge levels to explore, it includes bonus survival game mode with 4 additional levels, a wide range of enemies to overcome including mummies, an undead gorilla and boss characters, unique vehicles, an underground train and the mysterious ball chariot, more than 30, secret hidden, um, more than 30 secrets hidden away to be discovered as well as multiple achievements for the player to earn. And Steamworks features include achievements and uh, leaderboards. So I'll just show you the postcard. There's the postcard. They're not obviously real signatures, they're all printed. I'll show you the, the instructions. Black and white, unfortunately. And there we've got the game DVD, and beneath it we've got the audio CD. So that was a bargain, two ninety nine. Considering uh, on live, want fifteen pound for it. Uh, next we've got a Pro Gamepad for the Xbox 360 and this is based on the Tom Clancy's game Ghost Recon Future Shelf Soldier. Um, it's got the features of precision aim technology and quick fire triggers and it's uh, exclusive Ghost Recon 
Future Soldier combat button layout. And this also uh, lights up blue on the thumb pads. I'll uh, do a little video of that, show you that in action later. But that's by Mad Cats. Got a nice magnetic flap there. Uh, next we, uh, I went to HMV, um, I was after a Nintendo DS um, and I found one in HMV and this version is a Nintendo DSi XL and this comes in uh, wine red uh, it's complete with everything that came new, it's pre-owned uh, but everything's in there, it's got the checklist that they do in store uh, there's no damage or scratches or anything to the screen and it's got everything included uh, that was 84 98 a little bit more than I wanted to pay for a, a DS. Um, I quite like the uh, XL ones and I look forward now to playing the two DS games I got the other week, uh, Aliens, Infestation and Scourge. So yeah, they're my uh, gaming pickups for today. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.